Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining and all of your support. I appreciate it. All of your sweet and nice comments. Um, definitely love hearing uh, what's going on and how the readings are resonating with you. I appreciate it and just know that I do read them all. It takes me a bit of time, okay? So this is gonna be for Sagittarius, uh, your weekly March 16th through March 22nd. Please remember it is a general reading. Anything goes, it can be love, career, finances. Um, you know, love comes in all forms. It could be, um, you know, an attachment um, with a family member, friend, coworker, um, not just um, a lover or love interest, okay? Uh, the, if I didn't say it already, it is general. Timing is flexible. Uh, energies can be reversed, all right? And um, there's a playlist in, in the description box. If this reading doesn't um, resonate with you, you can check out your other signs. Um, this is for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus, okay? And the last thing that I have for you, um, I feel like this card wants to come out for you. All right, we're going to pull one more. Um, it, the last thing I have is I'm doing a giveaway at the end of the month, um, you know, for others. I'm sorry, I'm getting lost in these cards here. I'm doing a giveaway at the end of the month. If you're new to my channel, I'm giving away two bracelets. I have an amethyst and a halite bracelet. Um, the details are in the description box, but basically you just have to subscribe, like, and comment, and you're entered. If you're already a subscriber, you just have to comment and like, okay? So my intention um, was to just do these as a giveaway, but people are asking um, if they're for sale. So yes, the information's in the description box with a link to my website. So um, moving on, your first card here is the Nine of Raphael. Make a wish. Dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. Okay, so um, this came out, I don't remember if this was Taurus or Virgo, but one of those signs had this card as well. Now the second card that you got is the Six of Gabriel which is congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next projects, awards, scholarships, or promotions. So I feel here there may be something here that um, you've been hoping for, wishing for. Um, I feel like it's actually becoming reality. So if you've been working hard on something, okay, I feel like it's going to pay off. You're gonna be recognized in some way, okay? So if this is work or you know, a project, um, you may be receiving some type of award or school scholarship, a promotion at work. Okay, a lot of different scenarios. This could also be love. Okay, this could be somebody coming in um, that you've been dreaming about. So let's see what other cards you get. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? What messages do you have for Sagittarius, March 16th through the 22nd? March 16th through the 22nd. And we need one card. Thank you, angels Ooh, and spirit. There it is. That one like flew out. Okay, seven of fire. We actually had that card too in one of the fire signs. So feeling here with the seven of fires, this can indicate, um, this could indicate somebody, you know, maybe you're getting a little bit of pushback for something, um, you know, feeling a little guarded or defensive, um, you know, feeling here that if you move forward, you know, it may not go well, <laughs> okay? You can see the unicorn um, if he goes, any more further, you might fall off that cliff. Okay, so this is um, uh, definitely your energy here, fire energy. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, 
Okay. So I feel like there's a situation, Sagittarius, that um, you may have a little bit of conflict or in a place where you're not exactly sure what to do. Kind of goes with the seven of fire energy here. Um, you know, feeling, you know, not knowing whether you should proceed um, because there may be some conflict involved or you're not exactly sure what the the right action to take is, is what I'm getting here. This is your energy, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Um, and I feel like it's a situation here um, with the Six of Earth that needs to really um, gain some balance here, okay? Or you're trying to gain some balance in the situation. This can be Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So this could be a situation where, um, you know, if it's a love situation, it could be a situation where you're trying to um, get some equal give and take in the situation. Um, you know, I feel here you and another person may not be seeing things eye to eye. Okay, so it could be about that. If this is not love, um, I feel here this just may be a situation where you could be trying to balance your finances. Um, you more be maybe giving more um, or spending more than you're bringing in. Okay, or vice versa. You could be, you know, bringing in a lot more and helping other people out is what I'm getting. Now the next, um, wow, you have two aces here in the heart of the reading. And I feel like this is an indication that the universe is really making things clear for you um, here with the ace of air. Okay, so this can be um, air energy, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. And um, I feel here things are going to become much clearer you're going to feel a lot more free to make decisions. Okay. Um, I feel like the universe is giving you the clarity that you need to move forward. And um, I feel like this is a new fresh start for you. So whatever this energy is here, this may be past energy as well. I feel, I feel like this is an indication um, too, as if there's any people or things in your life that weren't adding value, weren't giving you clarity, were dishonest. I feel like you're cutting those things out of your life, okay? You're you're moving forward much freer, much happier, um, and it's a blessing here. This is a blessing coming in. And like I said, there's two aces here, and we have the ace of water. So it's definite real, something really big and significant here that I'm seeing here. Um, it, it's like a wish come true is the crown of your reading and something that um, is, you know, the victory card. We have the victory card here. So I definitely feel here, you know, there is a pearl. There is um, something very fabulous here coming your way. And this could be water energy. If this is love, this could be um, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay, but I feel like this too is something that you you hold very dear to your heart. You hold it in high regard. Um, definitely, I feel here this is something that's a wish come true for you that's coming in. All right, now, and it may too be something you receive clarity on. Okay, that's going to help you uh, achieve your goals, whatever you're working on. Uh, we have the three of pentacles here, or the three of earth. This could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy. So I feel here this, we're going to start with love. I feel like there may be somebody um, that is coming in for you that wants to work with you, okay? Wants to put in the effort here, okay? Wants to... Um, somebody who I, I feel is going to be worth the effort. Okay, this could be new love. Um, this could be past energy too. Okay, it's your wish. So whatever you're wishing for, whether it's new love or it's um, somebody from the past. But I feel here with the three of earth. Um, there's definitely I feel like you're 
getting seeing the clarity now um, with this situation for some of you this could have to do with work this could have to be working on a new project with someone um, this could also you know be about um, your efforts paying off here you know like I said there could be um, you know promotions um, you know someone may tell you you've done a wonderful job okay your work is well done And then we have here the two of earth. So I feel here too, there's some type of decision you need to make here. Uh, this could also be about where to put your time and energy. Okay, so you may be focusing on um, your pentacles, your coins, um, trying to decide here, you know, uh, this could be a balance between love and work for some of you. This could also just be where to put your time and energy. You may be focused on, um, you know, like I said, your material gains here, trying to come into balance, all right? But I do see here there is some, some type of conflict, either in the past um, or currently, and they're telling me, like, you're in some type of dilemma here. You're trying to figure it out. But I feel like the universe is going to show it to you here with the Ace of Air, Okay, they're going to show you the path um, to receive this pearl is what I'm getting. Okay, all right, so let's clarify these cards. Why is the five of air here, please? Why is the five of air here, please? Why is the five of air here, please? Why is the six of earth here, please? Why is the six of earth here, please? There's the six of earth here. Oh, got a whole lot of cards there. Why is the ace of water here, please? Why is the ace of water here, please? Let's get one more card. Oh, we got too many there. Let's get one more card. Why is the ace of air here, please? Why is the ace of air here, please? Why is the three of earth here, please? It's the three of earth. Let's get one more card. Why is the two of earth here, please? Why is the two of earth here, please? Okay, bottom of the deck, we have six of cups, okay? So this could be somebody from your past. Uh, this could be soulmate energy here, okay? This can also be receiving a gift. Uh, like I said here, with the um, ace of water, you could be receiving a gift or your pearl. Okay, almost there. Okay, so the first card, um, like I talked about, the Five of Air. I feel like you're in some type of dilemma, trying to figure out what action you should take here. You have the Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. So I feel like you're going to receive some good news here, okay? Um, either that, you're going to receive a message from someone, or you're going to reach out to someone here with the Page of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. I feel like this is going to make all the difference here, as you have the Ten of Cups. So whatever this news is that you're going to receive could also be an offer here. Not, it's, a, it's something small. Um, I feel like you're going to feel really good about it. Okay, it's going to make you really, really happy here. And then you have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so definitely there's some communication coming in. All right, um, some message. I feel like somebody's trying to, is going to try and deliver a message here. Could be Air Energy, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Could be something you've been hoping for, wishing for, or this could also be some action that you're going to take, okay, towards someone else. The second card, to clarify, uh, Six of Earth. Okay, we talked about with the Six of Earth, um, having balance, could be balance with finances, balance as far as giving and receiving. Okay. So I feel like here, there's something here, there's something unknown here, okay, with the Six of Pentacles. There could be fears, okay? 
there could be fears here okay about this situation whether you're you're going to be receiving communication with this person or not or you or you're the one who needs to take some sort of action here okay i feel like there's some fears here there could also be fears of rejection i'm getting because of the crab here um worry that um you may get um you know pinched uh this could also be uh pisces energy here um this can also be, uh, you know, deep emotion that you're going through here. Moving away from the conflict. Like I said here, you have the conflict card here too, which is, I said, I felt you're in some type of dilemma, needing to take some action. So you're really wanting um, things to work out here and uh, become balanced here because you want to be in this calmer water. So I feel like the storm is passing. Things are moving in that direction. Some of you, this could be a home move. Some of you may be thinking about a home move. Um, this might help you financially. Okay. But I feel here there's some type of unknown that I feel here. You may have some fears here. Okay. It could be the unknown of what this person is wanting. Um, I'm also getting like. If this is love, if this person, you know, if this person comes in, are they going to leave again? I'm getting that as well. There's fear, like there's fear of that as well. With the with the moon card, this can be cancer energy as well. Moving in, a, I feel too, moving in a direction where things are going to be more balanced. And this could be in love. Okay, but having some fears about taking those steps forward. All right, so clarifying the Ace of Water here. We have the Chariot and we have the Seven of Wands, okay? So I feel like um, this is about moving forward. Chariot is also Cancer energy. Moving forward and really, um, you know, taking on those challenges. I feel like there's, there's definitely some challenges um, that you've either went through or you're going through. Um, but I feel like you're taking control and you're just going to take them head on, okay? Because you have, you have like the upper power here because you're up on the hill. You know, those wands are below you. So I feel like you're, you're going to get through it if you're feeling like, you know, you're never going to see this pearl or, you know, it's not coming. I feel like, you know, no, it is because you have the wish card and you have uh, victory here. So you are going to have success. You're taking control and you're moving forward here, all right? All right, so Ace of Air, okay, I talked about things, a fresh start, you know, things becoming clearer, feeling freer, uh, cutting away those things in your life that no longer serve you, don't add value, okay, really uh, seeing things a lot clearer now. I feel here you've been in this hermit mode, okay, trying to, to um, decide where you're going, where you're headed, um, you know, trying to make the right choices here. This could be Virgo energy. Um, because I feel like you've been through a lot. Look, you've been through, you know, this is like hell and back, right? You've um, definitely, you know, felt the pain, okay? And there may have been a situation in the past that ended that was very, very painful. But look here, we have the Knight of Cups. So I feel like you're, somebody's coming in here with an apology. Could be this past energy that I'm seeing here. This may be you needing to give someone an apology, okay? Um, but somebody here needs to take some action, okay? Whether this is love or not love. Clarifying three of earth here. We have the nine of swords and the queen of wands, okay? So I feel like this is something that um, has definitely been on your mind, okay, for a while. I feel like there may be some fears about it. Um, you may have some anxiety about it. And I feel like this is about um, like taking action. It could be a person involved um, because we do have the three of earth, which can signify there could be three people involved. But um, I feel like this is something heavily on your mind. 
Okay, this is your energy, Sagittarius. This is, um, you know, Aries Leo or Sagittarius. But I feel here that there may be some stress or anxiety around taking action in this situation. Okay. And then the last two cards, the two of earth, I talked about, you know, where to put your time and energy. And that may be your stress. You're trying to figure out where to put your time and energy. Could be a love situation. Okay, with this Queen of Wands energy. Uh, we have Knight of Pentacles and Four of Swords. Okay, so I feel like you've taken some time to think about this. Um, you're trying to decide here. You may have been, you know, trying to juggle work and love or work in something else here. Okay, but I feel like there's some good news coming. This is the second card that you have that I feel here there's some good news coming. So I feel like you're going to receive some communication that's going to help you here. Okay. And I feel like you've really taken the time to think about this. I'm just looking back here. There's a lot of stuff going on here. I feel in summary here. There's something that's been on your mind. You're really trying to gain balance. Some of you may be working a lot. There may have been a lot of challenges in your life um, recently. Or I'm feeling to the last year. And I feel like you're trying to get to a place um, where things seem a little bit more clear, less hectic. Um, where you feel emotionally good as well. And I feel like some of you have taken the time for yourself to really think about where you're going, where you're headed. I feel like there's past energy here with love. Um, that maybe love wasn't reciprocated, but I feel like that person's coming in. I feel like that past person's um, gonna is reaching out to you. Okay. But there's something here with um, there's some type of gift. Or love offer coming in that I'm seeing here could also be um, related to finances too but I, I feel it more of um, not like a financial offer but something that could pay off financially but you're very emotionally attached to it you know maybe something you've passionately worked on because, like I said, you have um, the victory card and the, and the wish card. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards for love. Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Let's get three cards, please. Three cards. There's one, two, three. Hmm. Bottom of the deck. The signs are cautioning you. Pay attention to the red flags. Okay. So there may be something um, that you need to pay attention to when it comes to love here. That could be your worry too. You may have some worries about this person or you may not completely trust this person. Okay, so the first card that came out, past life relationship, you've known each other before, okay, soulmate energy. Uh, second card that we have is soulmate energy, so definitely um, double confirmation there. We have attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully, okay, so definitely um, there's attraction here, okay. Remember, this card is also about living in the moment, being thankful and grateful for what you have, not thinking too much about the future or the past. So I feel like this person, either you or this person, somebody here is not wanting to, I feel, rehash the past. I feel like there was a lot of challenges and I feel here that they just really want to live in the moment with you, okay? I do see here um, this person, um, either you're in commitment with them or you want commitment with them or vice versa, but you have the engagement card. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, okay? 
So I'm getting here with this energy, you know, either you or this person, somebody here, like I said, there, there's juggling going back and forth, um, someone trying to decide where to put their time and energy. And this might be in regards to commitment. Maybe somebody here is having a hard time with commitment because of their work life, okay? Or something else going on here. But I feel here like it's gonna work out, okay? If you're wanting, if this is your wish, um, for this person, um, this person to come in back into your life from the past could be new soulmate energy as well, but I'm seeing more of a past person here. Um, I feel like you're going to have victory. Okay. I feel like your wish is coming true. All right, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, again, if you'd like to enter for the bracelets, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.